have any idea what is going on right now. I have never seen anything quite like this in my life. Okay, in case you're not sure what you're looking at, there is a concert going on as part of Taylor Swift's Eras Tour. This is outside of the venue, which is obviously already sold out. These are people who showed up without a ticket. They're just happy to be here. 20,000 of these people showed up just to be outside of the stadium. Do you realize how insane that is? The dedication of the Taylor Swift fan base is inspiring. This is just pure insanity. Look at this. Just look at the, oh my God. Oh, uh, look at that, look at that. And I mean, that's just the view outside the stadium. Those are all the people who showed up who didn't have tickets. This is what it looked like if you're actually there. Look how far out in front she is and there's still, look how many people are behind. You know, there comes a point where I don't even care who the artist is. You look at that image and you look at her sitting by herself in this just sea of people and think about this thing that she's created, this thing that she's built. It's hard to fathom what it is that we're even looking at, you know, this packed stadium of people who are not just like, oh, so-and-so's coming into town, sweet, I'll grab some tickets, that, that might be a fun show to go to. No, 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 this is like, this is for a lot of people, this is like a pilgrimage. For the Swifty fan base, this is like a once in a lifetime event, especially considering how expensive these tickets were going for. I mean, oh my God. Now I have to verify some of this information, but Rob1978 says sold out every stadium she's playing. We know that's definitely true. Expected to get 1.4 million people that wanted tickets and ended up with 24 million. So they added dates to the tour. I don't know if those numbers are exactly correct, but I know that they're that insane. Oh my God. Look, look at that. <laughs> no way. Yeah, it doesn't look real, 100%. Doesn't look real at all. Like, are you serious? <laughs> An entire bridge that I just, I, oh my God. It doesn't even matter if her music is like your thing. Yeah, total honesty, not my thing. Musically, it's just, just not what I put on when I wanna listen to some cool stuff. I appreciate it and I obviously understand why it is so insanely popular. Taylor Swift has always had this incredible ability to to really just speak to her audience. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that she just kind of wrote herself into her song. And it just it's just such proof that when you just approach whatever your creative thing is and you approach it like that, that's where people respond. And very much not to compare myself at all to Taylor Swift, but it is, it's just an interesting thing to think about. Like when I started this channel, you know, I'd wanted to be a YouTuber for so long before anything actually worked. And I had tried dumb little things in the past and it was always based on like, hey, what are the things on YouTube right now that are popular that work? I would try to do those things and it wouldn't work. Nobody would care because the content was terrible. And it took me creating something that was purely just based on what made me laugh. What did I want to make that would just be amusing to myself and then this happened None of you bitches. and then I just kept doing that because it kept being amusing and now all of you, all of you are here and now I try to cover things that I find that elicit a very similar reaction for the very same reason even though it might not be funny or memes necessarily but like it's it's all stuff that I find and I'm like wow I just I wanna talk about this or I wanna share this with you guys. This is what I feel that Taylor has done throughout her career so well and is why she's built this just insane fan base that is so dedicated and so passionate. It is beyond inspiring. Like, come on. This Forbes article, they're estimating that there's a possibility that the average ticket price could be $700. They thought it was gonna be 215. And if you don't know what this tour is, the show she's putting on is bad crazy. This is a three hour show consisting of 44 songs across 10 different eras. I mean, it's, it's loaded with insane set pieces and costumes and all this for 52 different shows. Like, are you kidding? Look, look at this. Three consecutive sold out dates at Gillette, three at MetLife, 
three at Soldier Field, two at Ford Field. I mean, it just goes on and on. She's doing consecutive nights. 44 songs a night for like June 9th, June 10th, and then June 16th, 17th, June 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. Like that. Mm. That's crazy, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is, that's wild. Okay, so here's the thing. Take a look at this. This is the top 20 highest grossing tours uh, of all time. There's some obvious ones on here that you would expect. Elton John, Ed Sheeran, U2, Guns N' Roses, of course, right? But here's the thing. Elton John pulled down 853 million across 293 shows. 293. The Eras Tour is 52. Look at all of these. I mean, the closest one, the Rolling Stones, 58 shows, that's crazy. But most of these are well over 100 shows. There's not a single one on this list that consists of fewer shows than what Taylor is doing with this. And she's slated to pull down like 700 mil on this. As musicians, we all have different goals, right? For a lot of people, what Taylor is doing is the dream. And for a lot of people, it's not, and that's totally okay. I wouldn't say that I've ever desired doing what she's doing on the scale that she's doing with the level of celebrity that she has to deal with. But there has perhaps never been somebody who has handled it better. And again, I'm saying this as a person who like, I don't listen to Taylor Swift. I don't even think we've ever talked about Taylor Swift on this channel. Because musically, it's, there's, it's not the type of music where there's like a ton of stuff going on. And that's not to say that there's anything bad about it. It's just, she writes stories and she's amazing at it. And I think that's, like I said, that's really what people connect with a lot. But I don't envy the position she's in. I simply stand very, very far back and observe with absolute admiration, if I'm being honest. I mean, it's just, it is wild to watch this happen in real time. On this channel, we look at things through an extremely musical lens. We look at theory. We look at all the boring things that most people don't care about. But people care about this, and they care about it in a way that we've only seen a handful of times throughout history. And while I am not going to be lining up for tickets to this show, I salute all of you who are. And I am stoked to see what happens next. My closest connection to Taylor Swift is that she liked one of my posts one time. And I also made this video just for fun. So thanks for watching, check it out, and we'll see you next time. She said, let's get out of this town, drive out of the city, away from the crowd. I thought heaven can't help. Nothing lasts forever.